Hi, it says I'm live. You guys let me know if you can hear me. Can you guys hear me? <laughs> I see everybody is signing in and I'm trying to do a live, uh, my very first one. I see lots of hellos. Yes, you, you can hear me. Yay, that's great. Thank you, Katie. I appreciate that. Well, hi, it's Becky from Power Tools with Thread. And uh, that's my blog. And I'm really nervous about this. And I don't know why, because I you guys see me all the time, right? So uh, I just wanted to start doing a live uh, broadcast for quilt chats and things that I'm doing. And I apologize. I, like I said, I'm really nervous on this first one. And I was uh, telling my friend Valerie, who is here with me, that uh, I, you know, I, I really want to do this because there's no video editing in uh, when, when you're live. And that makes my life so much easier uh, because I've got so many other irons in the fire right now. But uh, it makes me nervous because there's no video editing. and <laughs> I don't want to mess up. <laughs> but anyway, so hi, everybody. Welcome. Uh, if you made it here, we've got people here from Australia and uh, people from all over the United States. You guys are chiming in and saying hi, and I really appreciate that. But, uh, you know, goodness, uh, you guys need Australia. It's 4 a.m. there, you said. That's crazy. I want to thank you all so much for popping in. So I just wanted to visit with you guys for a little bit and let you know what's been going on. Uh, Keith and I just got back from everything embroidery market in Lafayette, uh, Louisiana. We had a ball. It was so much fun. And I want to thank all brands for hosting me there. It was wonderful. We stayed in the KOA at Lafayette and that's Campgrounds of America, if you are uh, unfamiliar with that. And it's a beautiful, beautiful park. Really, really enjoyed it. And, um, and then I did get to do the All Brands Live on Thursday, so last Thursday. So uh, I will link to that below this video. I need to do that just yet. Once it gets live on YouTube, I'll put that on there so you guys can check that out too. So anyway, uh, it was great. So a couple of the things that I picked up while I was at the All Brands in Lafayette is uh, – they brother has come out with this new 10 inch hoop it's like their great big sashing hoop it's got the same what i call mountains for the magnets you guys you know you've seen oh it has a tool to get these off but see it looks like mountains on here so my friend katie says that she really likes this hoop it's very versatile versatile and she really likes it um, I was kind of hoping it was going to be more of the flat magnet, flat, flat magnets. Uh, they, they only have that in the five by seven, but I really like that one. So that was good. I got that hoop and um, I got some other stuff here. Oh, in a previous video, I was talking to y'all about needing zippers for these tote bags. I'm going to make using this songbook. Uh, fabric with the butterflies and the panels from the hymns. And then I'm going to use this for the lining. And you guys came through like champs. Oh my goodness. One of you suggested the, I think it's called Quilted Twins. So I reached out to them. I had said that I wanted aqua zippers. I reached out and did get some navy. They didn't have aqua at the time. So I got navy and I got like this off white. And I think that those are just going to be perfect on here. Absolutely perfect. So, oh, before we get started, I need to introduce you guys to Valerie. So do you want to come say hi or do you want me to turn on your stream? I'll just come over. She's going to come over. Y'all, this is Valerie. She doesn't live too far from me. <laughs> Valerie worked at my old local quilt shop, Scrappy Quilter. And they they closed. And Valerie sitting at home twiddling her thumbs. And I said, hey, I need somebody who speaks the language. So I uh, really appreciate Valerie coming over here and helping me. And uh, I've got her on the hook for next Wednesday, too. So Wednesday is a good day for her. 
because she has obligations, doctor's appointments, husband's appointments, all kinds of stuff every other day of the week. So Wednesday it is for us and that works for me. So anyway, so Valerie is on the back end. She is moderating the comments and she's going to help me with the giveaway that we're going to do at the end of this. And we're going to have a, a, a really good time today, I hope. Okay, so I will be using the zippers from the Quilted Twins, but I also did get the turquoise from By Annie that you guys recommended. And man, these, this is a deal here. So yeah, that's those are going to work just great. Um, who Who is that scrappy quilter there, huh? <laughs> Okay, and what else? Um, so y'all can see I've got plaid pines behind me and I have to put it on the long arm. I'm gonna be doing a live next Wednesday with not, yeah, no, next Wednesday. I don't think we can do next Wednesday. I will see. I have a, um, a live with Sewing Machines Plus doing their virtual quilt festival Next Wednesday, it's at 10.30 uh, Pacific time. I think that's 12.30 for me, 10.30 Pacific. And I am going to be showing how to put a binding on while your quilt is still on the long arm. I've done a couple of videos on that, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be demoing how to do it on plaid pines. So I needed a backing for it. And you can't find the backing kits for Lori Holt quilts anywhere. But what I ended up doing was uh buying this 108 it's from her b plaids and i thought that this is going to work just fine don't you guys think so so i mean this is just going to be the back but it pulls out the raisin color in the in the tree trunks don't you there's plaid fabrics in here anyway so i thought this would look just fine it's going to be on the back anyway so uh Anyway, yeah, so I'm going to get this on the long arm and get this quilted. Then I got to get the binding on. So I'll be doing the binding in Quilt Fest next week. Sew so Machines Plus the whole week. They're doing it. This chair is in my way. Let me move this. I told Valerie, let me get you a different chair so I can use this one. And then I always stand up. So that's uh, going to be going on. And then... Also, when I was at All Brands Lafayette, um, there's a new stylus pen that they're carrying in store, and I love this. So it's rechargeable. It has a, a USB thing to charge it, and it's got a little case, and look at the point on this thing, you guys. Can you see that? It looks like a pen. So just touching, it works on all the screens on these brother machines. And then it has the ability, it has a button that you can push and it's got a battery and it does something. I haven't figured all that out yet, but they actually are brother is um, they're, they're carrying these in the all brand stores. So I'm going to recommend, uh, I will link to this below uh, when we get done with this video. So you guys, if you're, if you're in need of a really great capacitive pen, I use this when I was on their live on Spanky. Worked great, worked absolutely great. Okay, and then also another backing that I got, you guys can see I've got 13 of the star blocks done, the Calico star blocks done for, this is for Calico Garden, these up here. And um, the backing for that, that they want you to use, is this, which is a lot of the background of the flower blocks and stuff, This, these words. And I mean, it's just precious, right? You can't find it anywhere again. I mean, it's out of stock all over the place. So I grabbed uh, regular yardage, not 108, of this. And this is that blue, it's like a plaid kind of look, or a stripe or plaid or something. It's actually one of the fabrics that's in the Calico Fat Quarter Bundle. Why not? So I thought that that would look just fine. So instead of using this, it'll be this on the back. 
So think outside of the box, you know, when you, when you can't find the recommended backing or whatever, Valerie told me she waits until she finishes the quilt to figure out what the backing is going to be. I think that's probably pretty good advice, but um, okay. So I got that. I want to let you know, Fat Quarter Shop is doing a new uh, sew along, a quilt along. It's called Home Again. And this is so pretty. It's a two color quilt. So it's just using background fabric and then you've got a plaid and then you have the solid in the blocks or close to a solid. So this is a sew along that begins on April 4th. And there are not, I've always wanted a red quilt. Well, of course they're out. You can sign up on Fat Quarter Shop's website to be notified when they're available. But look, so they've got nine different colorways that this comes in, okay? I have links that'll be below this video to all of these fabrics so that you can get them easy peasy if you decide you wanna make one of those. So I actually chose, you know, I, I originally wanted to make the red one and I was like, that didn't go with a thing in my house. I don't have anything red in my house. So I decided on the pumpkin because my house is mostly earth tones and I thought that would look good. So the this is the darker fabric for the blocks and the sashing uh, cornerstones. And then here is, this is the, it's the, get where I can sit in the camera, hold still Becky. So this is in the blocks as well and it's in the sashing, okay? And it's also the binding. And then the pumpkin, that cross stitch. So I'm gonna be sewing this and uh, I'll be blogging it and showing you on my videos that it's coming along and everything. So I hope you can join me. This is going to be one of those quilts where I cut everything up and then it's my mindless sewing that I do in the morning when I get up at six and, you know, just get me in a cup of coffee and just sit at the machine and just, just kind of sew. And uh, I will video a little bit of it. If you are brand new to quilting, these points right here, they're actually called flying geese. And I will show you a method that I use to make sure that they fit and they're perfect every time. And uh, it took me a couple of years to figure out how to do that. I was flying by the seat of my pants with my geese. <laughs> they weren't working. So, hey, when we traveled to Lafayette, uh, I took Yazzie bags, lots of Yazzie bags. I took this one is their block travel bag and the blocks that are in here are for the um they're for that praises quilt that i was telling you guys i was making one of cory yoder's patterns let me get the picture of it the picture doesn't do it justice because i was running low on ink but this is that praises quilt and um no i will i be doing oh so delightful from kinder kimberbell not it's not on my schedule not on my schedule if they want me to i might but we'll have to see how much time that's going to take so i wanted to work some more on these blocks so i took those with me look how deep this is it held a lot so i took them i y'all i don't know where that week it flew by it just flew by but what i did take with me as well is my paper plates with my calico star blocks on them. And I got two of them done. Yay! I got two. So these two right here were done. The yellow and the brown were done uh, in the in the motorhome because I took Gypsy, my brother NQ3700D with me in my, in my new um, Tula Pink Tuto travel bag. That thing was awesome. So... I have this to carry all my blocks and y'all not a single thing shifted on those paper plates. They just held so awesome. I love it. So I will link to these below the video when we get done. And then the other bag that I used is uh, Valerie wants to steal my purple Yazzies from me, but this one, and I love this one because it's, it's so deep as well. And I'm always carrying stuff in here everywhere. One of the things I really would like to do is to embroider 
on the front of the bag. Now I know Anna from Quilt Roadies, she hand stitches like hexes on here or something like that. But you have to do that because you've got plastic pouches, you know, zipper pouches and whatnot. So you can't really embroider on that on this side. So I had my scissors and then another uh, little zipper pouch in here with more little scissors. I got such a kick, you guys. This has tweezers and lots of little scissors. I had such a kick when we were on the cruise. One lady had showed up with her bag and she opened it up. She had a pouch, must have had 20 pairs of scissors in this pouch. And I looked at her and I was like, oh my gosh. I guess I just never really realized how I needed to pack, okay? And I, uh, I'm one of my husband's seam rippers. I've got three of those in here. Can never have too many seam rippers. And then I also took that uh, that blade cutter gizmo, right? That I had shown you guys before. I took that with me. You can't cut yourself. It, the blade is, wait, this is a used rotary blade, okay? And that fits in there just like that. And worked great. I really liked this. It was easy to move. It didn't have a big footprint next to my sewing machine. And it just turned out great. Oh, uh, I missed the paper plate idea. Can I tell, okay, tell you, tell you what that is. All right. So my quilty buddy, Lisa, who is Betty Boop on here somewhere. I'm calling you out, girl. I was making chicken salad. Uh, the big chicken quilt that I have. And there were so many different pieces of the background fabric that had to go in a certain order to make it look right according to the pattern. I mean, you could do it anyway, but I can't think like that. I needed somebody to tell me. So one of you sweet souls actually wrote down every piece of fabric, what number it was in the pattern. And so I told Lisa, I said, I cannot figure out how I'm going to keep all these straight. Well, I've got the same thing going on right here with these calico star blocks. So what I did, let me, I'm, I don't have to step out of shop because I have some in here. See how these things just travel so good? I love them. So what I did was I, it took me two days to cut all of the fabrics for all of the calico star blocks. Okay. And then what I did is I just took paper plates, whatever, and I number, I, I stapled a little paper. So this is number 14. Okay. Whatever fabrics went on number 14, these are, all, this puts together block number 14. And then you just keep going. All right. And so here is, here's block number 15. And this is a fabulous system. If I could, I would come up with something cool and patent it and make a million dollars because you guys would love this. But I haven't been able to think like that. But it's great because when you got to travel, you have to move all these things. You just pick them up and go and they move around the room with me in the morning. I have them sitting on the back end of the long arm and I'm going to stitch them. I just reach over and grab a plate and bring it over to the sewing machine and just stitch it up. And it just works so good. It's a great, great little simple system. I love it. Okay. So I hope that was helpful. Um, let me put this down. And let's see what else I want to tell you guys. The fabric kit is out for April's Kimberbell Cuties Table Topper. So I got that in the mail. It was waiting for me when I got here. And uh, this, oh, uh, D, I see that. The seam rippers are available. I had to put them back into the store. I did that this morning or last night. Maybe I did it yesterday. Uh, yeah. And also the little um, replacement seam ripper end tips are available as well. If you guys, a lot of people need those. While we're traveling, I shut the store down. Because um, Keith was selling seam rippers while we were out and about. And we don't want to mess with the uh, the inventory. So we shut the store down while we were gone. And then uh, I opened it back up yesterday. And I'll let you guys know too. But do I have one? I do. Um, in order to keep your seam ripper from rolling off the table and the tip breaking, 
put a little wonder clip. Marilyn told me about this trick and it's fabulous. So just put a little wonder clip on the end that you're not using. And then you've got your seam ripper. Okay. And when it is sitting on the table, it won't go and roll off. So that's a neat little trick right there. All right. Uh, Villa Rosa Designs has patterns out. This is the February patterns. And I don't think I told you guys about these yet. I went back and checked my videos to see, but uh, I wanted to um, let you know what came out. Now, I got an email. Did I get an email with Marches? But they haven't rolled in just yet. So the first one that came out for February. Oh, let me tell you. So Villa Rosa Designs has a pattern club. And I know you guys have seen these four by six cards. They're simple patterns usually. There's some challenging ones too. And you can see these in your quilt store and they're usually two to two and a quarter a piece. But if you order them and get uh, a, be a member of the club, it's $8.95 for five every month and free shipping. So that's kind of cool. All right. Uh, so the first one is Moonstone. This is a great pattern for focus fabrics. If you've got some pretty focus fabrics, that's a real good one. It's a 37 by 50. It takes six fat quarters. Very, very simple. If you're a beginner quilter, this might be a cute little baby quilt to start with. The next one is Neptune. Now this one is for a jelly roll. It takes 42 and a half inch strips. And um, it finishes up to 58 by 72 with an optional border. But I, I want you to take a look at how this works. So like they've got light colored strips up here and dark colored strips down there. I dug around and I found a jelly roll that would work perfect. So here, this is Holiday Essentials Americana by Moda, okay? And who made this? Stacy, East, East Sue. I like her stuff, I love her stuff. And I'm sorry I butchered her name, <laughs> anyway. So if you look at this, th this jelly roll has serious contrast, okay? So you would want a jelly roll that has high contrast in its colors. Like this is going to work perfect to make this. It'll be beautiful. The next one is Beatrice. We've got some friendship stars in here. It finishes at 54 by 72, and it uses 12 fat quarters for the rails, and the stars need a half yard. The next one is Truffles. Look at that. Now this uses 42 10 inch squares. I know most of them come with 40. You might have to, you know, pop in one of your own pieces of fabric or whatever. And, or it uses 21 fat sixths. That's 12 by 22. And then it has a binding. Very, very simple quilt again, right? And then here is Helix. This, I wouldn't do this. Y'all, those triangles, mm -mm. <laughs> I'm sorry. I wouldn't even attempt it. Uh, this one finishes at 50 by 66, and it uses 10 fat quarters. So this looks like something my quilty buddy Lisa would do. She jumps on those challenges. That's not my scene. So. And then also, while I was at All Brands, I had gone in there uh, with some of my calico blocks. I did not have the exact colors of thread that I needed. And they had a huge selection of exquisite and isocorp. So there was a sweet, oh, I can't remember her name. She works at the store. If one of y'all know, just sing out. And um, she was really sweet. And I was like, can you help me? She goes, I excel at that. And I was like, yay. <laughs> she just picked out new threads for me. So I've got some more. I picked up five spools of thread to match in Calico Garden. But yeah, so like I went in there with a bucket of fabric. And I said, hey, I need some help. So I was having a tough time with this and she just, I don't know, it's a gift, definitely a gift. So great customer service in there too. Terry was wonderful. The store manager really enjoyed uh, being with them. Y'all know what Keith did while we were there? Got himself a scan and cut. Why? I don't know. He doesn't even know how to use it. <laughs> But he got it, and uh, I think I'm going to let him. Oh, what's the finished size of truffles? Okay. I'm sorry. Did I not? This is uh, 52 by 60. Yeah, let's see it again. 52 by 60. This is a uh, this is a great beginner quilt, I think, 
um, it's pretty, let me show you how they do this. There you go. Look at that. See? So that's how you get that narrow on the top of those little uh, colored dots in between. This would make a great guy quilt, you know? Okay. Um, let me look at my notes and see if I have anything else I got to talk to you about before. Oh, let me tell you right now. Um, are blocks bigger than Lori Holt since we used to scan and cut? No, they are not. Um, so when you're doing the scan and cut and you trace around the simple shapes, it's getting the exact same size. So what you can do if you want to test it is go ahead and cut out a piece of fabric and then hold it up to the template and they're identical. So that's really a cool thing that you don't have to make them bigger, right? Um, and then because Lori has you so exactly on the line that you traced, they're identical to her pieces as well because she turns them exactly on that line, right? So uh, let's see. I just want to make sure that I don't miss anything and I think I got it all. But uh, so anyway, you guys need to do hashtag power tools and we're going to do a giveaway. Now, please, U.S. shipping only. I love you guys overseas, but I got to pay for shipping. So uh, yeah, hashtag power tools, and uh, then we will choose a winner. And let me tell you what you're going to win. There is a, uh, this, this giveaway is being sponsored by Villa Rosa Designs. You're going to get the pride pattern that uses the, um, it uses a panel and it has those friendship stars in it again. And then you're going to get this panel. And get you ready. Let's see. Which way's up? Get you ready for the 4th of July. My folks here in the U.S. Isn't that beautiful? So, so pretty. So I want to thank uh, Villa Rosa Designs for sponsoring this. This panel is, if you are so inclined, it is Stars and Stripes Forever by Charlotte Fultz for Studio E Fabrics. You can go to Villa Rosa Designs and take a look at if you want to buy the panel and she always has free shipping so that's really cool and so that's for this and then um along with this it, you're gonna get the 2023 cupid box from fat quarter shop so this is a great little giveaway i will tuck all of this in the cupid box and get it in the mail to you so uh anyway has everybody had a chance? Hashtag power tools. If you want to be not hashtag power tools with thread, all one word, hashtag power tools. Okay. So, um, all right, Valerie, are we ready? I'm trying. Um, okay. You guys, we're going to give you, uh, 10 more seconds to get, let's see. I'm going to count this up. Uh, and We'll just do it for another 30 seconds and I'll stand here and make noise and just chat with you guys. I'm trying to keep this to 30 minutes, okay? But um, any questions for anything? Love your live with all brands. Thank you, Alicia. That was very nice. I appreciate that. We had some snaps that didn't, you know, little snafus, but it worked out fine. I think it did. Uh, so yeah, hashtag power tools. If you want to win the panel and the pattern, and the 2023 Cupid box from Fat Quarter Shop. Let me show you what's in here. That's a good way to waste some time. Okay, 10 more seconds, you guys. We're fixing to hit 29 something. It has the uh, 20 Jelly Roll strips. These are really cute. They are called XOXO by Heather Lee Chan. You get some pink thread. You get a sewing machine letter opener. Valerie's over here drooling. She's like, I want that. <laughs> you get a uh, quilt as you go, two and a half inch strip mug mats, and you get a pin cushion slap band. How cool is that? You're going to get the pattern heart strings that you can use the little two and a half inch strips for. So, all right, you guys, that's it. So go ahead. Let's uh, look for hashtag power tools. And it's not on the screen. It's not showing on the Green and the winner is K 
Candace Devane. Yay, Candace. That's awesome. Okay, so Candace, you need to email me your uh, at power tools with thread at outlook.com. Email me your mailing address and I will get this in the mail to you. Okay, so that's awesome. Congratulations, Candace. Uh, I hope you are a quilter because <laughs> I know I have a lot of embroiderers that watch me too. So you guys, this has been so much fun. Thank you so much for joining me. We are at 30 minutes. I want to cut it off so we're not here all day. And um, please join me next week on Sewing Machines Plus, their virtual quilt fest. I will be on Wednesday at 1030 Pacific. And uh, even if you don't have a long arm, why not? I appreciate all the numbers. Okay. All right, you guys. Uh, if you are watching this after the fact, please give me a thumbs up on YouTube. It helps the channel a whole lot. We will talk to you soon. You guys go sew something. Bye.